The rough all GT series was built on successive generations of Porsche 911 GT3s. It promised both power and grace. However, what truly set rough cars apart was their unique smoothness and palpable precision. The RGT 4.2, based on the 991 series 911 GT3, it exemplified Ruff's unmatched expertise in pairing engine and transmission flawlessly. Alright, so boom. My name is Kip, and we're back with more Gran Turismo 7 and the Ruff RGT 4.2, one of the new cars added in the latest update. And without further ado, we're going to take a look. So give me a second to dial in, and we're going to check out the showroom view. Alright, let's check it out in the showroom. Listen to the engine. I could feel the vibration in the controller. That's crazy. So we're just going to have the Michelin brand on all the tires, huh? I mean, I ain't mad at it. I like the wheels. Oh, I like that little cutout there where you can see like the everything on the underside. That's kind of cool. Got the twin exhaust. Got a carbon spoiler. I think the bolts on the uh, on the fenders is a nice touch. I like that. Gives it more kind of a like a rustic industrial feel. I think the uh, the side mirrors are carbon as well. I'm blind. Don't look directly into the light. I can appreciate Ruff as a brand, if for nothing else, their availability. When Porsche went through their exclusivity deal with EA and they couldn't appear in other games, good old Ruff came through. Now let's check out the inside. Got the paddles. Got the prindle. Got the doors. Nice clean interior. I don't think I've seen a car with an interior that I don't like. I can't think off the top of my head. Pardon me, my eyes are burning. But I can't think off the top of my head of a, a vehicle whose interior that I don't like. Some I like more than others, and some is like, eh. But I for sure can't think of an <laughs> interior that I don't like. Get some, get some light in here. Oh, I didn't see the pattern, like the uh, the honeycomb pattern on the speakers. That's dope. All right, I mean, pretty much all there is to it. We did the 360, we did all that, so let's go ahead and purchase this bad boy. I'm so broke, I need more money. Polyphony, why are you taking my money? <laughs> Alright, 
So we in the Nurburgring Nordschleife paddock. We about to test drive this uh, new baby we got and you know, get a good feel for it on the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and dial in and then we just gonna get on the road and see what it do. We got a couple of drivers out here. Everybody be on their best behavior, you hear me? I like how it feels. Get it together. Still getting used to the new physics. I hope the ease with which I got into the paddock means they actually fixed the connection issues and maybe it's not just me getting lucky. I 
I remember in the past, it took forever and a day to try to get in, and sometimes you didn't even get in at all due to connection issues. Hopefully they fix that. Let's go. <laughs> two hundred and seventy nine, two hundred and eighty kilometers. What's that in miles per hour? <laughs> feel like it's been a while since I've been on this track because
Well, I think this is the first time I've been on this track on the wheel, to be honest. I think the last time I was on this track, I did controller. Which is to say, it's been a long time since I've been on the Nurburgring. Nope, actually that's a lie, because I did do my um, license test on the Nurburgring. And that time I had the, uh, the G29. Yeah. baby oh I lost control oh that wasn't supposed to happen I'm losing it <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. The Nurburgring is no joke, I'll tell you what. But I got just the car to handle it. Was the Nurburgring? I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I like it. I like, I like how the car feels. You know, it's Porsche makes good cars, so naturally, Rough would make good cars too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, over there you can see the, uh, you can see the the Grand Prix section slash Sprint section. <laughs> That's cool. Um, but yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and head back to the garage or the paddock. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> oh, somebody got the, uh, somebody got, uh, damn, I forgot the day. I just... <laughs> I was just playing it too. Oh my god. Um It's not Midnight Cinderella. Midnight Rose. Love. The Midnight Rose Livery. <laughs> Do some spectate. Oh my god. You're not driving at all. St -d 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 <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, the GTR wiped out. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Oh man, but I love the 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 midnight rose livery. I love seeing people who are fans of you know other racing games. I love people who in one racing game can show their love of other racing games. There's a lot of Tokyo Extreme Racer fans out there, man. So, you know, we got to we got to represent. You know, I got I got the uh I got the Speed King livery on my GTR. They got the Midnight Rose livery on their GTO. It's dope, it's dope, dope stuff. But anyway, man. I'm gonna call it there. Just a nice little test drive. See if we could take it to an actual race now. All right, so we'll be taking the new car on the new track 
that was also added in the new update, Iger Nordwand in Switzerland. I don't know if I pronounced that right at all, but uh, this is a returning track from the previous Gran Turismo. Look at look at all them people in the background. Oh, damn, that's cool. I feel like if Polyphony can put all this time into animating all this cool background stuff, then they could they they could totally invest some resources in like an open world kind of thing, but. I totally understand why they wouldn't, because that's not the spirit of the game. It's all about closed circuit racing, not about illegal street racing. I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. That's not what we're here for. But I'm just saying it would be dope if they <laughs> But anyway, let's get right into it. Beautiful. I'm about to blow these niggas in the dust. With these turns, oh, this will make an absolutely great drift track. I can see it now. I don't know how to drift, so. It wouldn't be for me, but. Is that the new BMW? I think that is. So that's another car I gotta cover. My bad, Brody. Yeah, that 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 little section right there is a drifter's dream. I feel like they could have added Sophie to this track.
It is. Give me my clean race bonus. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. Got the uh, roof. We knocked out the. Uh, <laughs> we knocked out a new track while we at it. So two birds, one stone, man. Iger Nordwind and the uh, roof. Rough. Whichever way you want to pronounce it. I always, you know, always switch. <laughs> Depending on how I feel that day. But I'm pretty sure it's Roof. I may be wrong. <laughs> Don't listen to me, man. Beautiful car on a beautiful track. I'm glad they added these. I'm a fan of the brand. So, hey, the more the merrier, is what I say. Yeah, that's enough of that replay. And what we're going to do now is uh, go on and head back to the garage. Give it one more look around just to see, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll take it to the parking lot. Here we go. Man, what a beautiful car. <laughs> but yeah man that's it that is oh shit <laughs> let me hold it but yeah that's it man that is the roof all gt 4.2 and that's the end of this video here comes a new challenger whether you're looking to cruise around town or refine your track skills the m3 e36 was the ideal call for driving enthusiasts the M3 Legacy began with the iconic first-generation E30 designed for Group A homologation. But it's the second-gen E36 that truly cemented the model's reputation for performance. This iteration introduced BMW's now legendary inline-six engine. Even more enticing, this particular model came from a later release after a series of refinements. The combination of the 3.2 liter inline six made it to a six speed manual gearbox made it a favorite among sports car fans. It delivered a perfect blend of low end torque and high revving exhilaration offering both power and precision with an unforgettable exhaust note. We checking out the next edition in the new update 
the BMW M397. Another car people were anticipating would make its return. Now here it is. We about to check it out. But before we buy, we got to give it the showroom inspection. You feel me? So give me a second while I dial in. All right. We are ready to give it the showroom inspection. Go. It is. So this is the used car lot. I love the color. I think more cars should come in softer colors like this. It just looks right. Look good. Give it the good old 360, you know what I mean? Take a look at the rims. I like the wheels. The wheels is nice. Take a look at the mirror. Turn the lights on. See if we could get a good the lights. We can see it at night. Uh, night ain't really night here. It is what it is. We got the we got the six speed shifter. You know everything uses paddles these days. Got the old radio. What y'all know about cassette tapes? Y'all too young for that. <laughs> With the nice leather. Oh my god, this leather so soft. I like this. Check me. That mirror is way off. <laughs> I can't see nothing. If I'm trying to look behind me, I can't see nothing. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Pretty simple, eh? Ain't too much to it. But yeah, we, we gave it the little showroom treatment. I, I think I like it. I think I like it. So I think I'll buy it. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. Yes, sir. Yes, I want to get in the car now. All right. And with that, Gonna take it for a little test drive. A little test drive. All right, let's see where we could go. Well, I mean, it is German, so what better place to test it on than the Nurburgring? We back in the paddock. See if they'll let me in. All right, man, we in the paddock. Let's go. We got a. Uh, we got us uh, some. Uh, what we got? We got some Porsches. We got some. Uh, we got an RX-7, oh the RX-7 left, we got a Beetle, we got a, uh, 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 we got a Red Bull, <laughs> wide variety of cars here, wide variety, let's go, let's go.
Go ahead, go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. I'm just cruising, honestly. <laughs> We just gonna take it nice and slow. trying to let you go. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You can't be... <laughs> Is he just cruising or what? I don't know what he's doing. Is he uh, learning how to drift? Is that what's going on? Oh, damn, 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 damn. Please, 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 just go, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> They wildin'. Oh, that's how you do it. I, f I forgot how to do it. I'm just testing out my buttons. Don't mind me. <laughs> Cause I was trying to figure out how to do the turn signal to let people know to go, but I got it. Now we can focus.
curse. This thing is no joke to handle, boy. But I'm handling it. Made it out of green hell. <laughs> Disappeared, disappeared like poof. Okay, I think I, I think I got good control over it now. What's going on? What's going on? Oh man, that was crazy. That shit threw me. <laughs> oh, that threw me all the way off.
All right. Well. Go ahead. this right. Let's get this right. <laughs> I like the feel of the car, it's just a bitch to handle at times, which I mean, you can expect of older road cars. dirt baby all dirt let's get this right got these old people watching me make an ass of myself I gotta tame this beast.
One more. Try to make it clean this time. Good. We're going to take it nice and easy this time. And not end up in the wall like Buddy over there. Mr. Shift. That's how we get around it. up the streets right now. Please, man, take your LM-55 somewhere else. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that is.
All right, the lap is looking clean so far. I thought that was the turn. I thought that was the turn. Alright, I got through it clean. That's what I'm talking about. Concludes the test drive. <laughs> I'm gonna exit. 
And we're gonna take this baby on a race. See what we could do real quick, you know what I'm saying? I need something that's kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday Cup 500, let's go. I did this one in the roof and I blew them out the water. So let's see how uh, things kinda play out this time. Now that I'm, you know, in a not so powerful car. <laughs> Oops. Almost lost it. Get it right, let's get it together. Oh, come on, y'all. <laughs> Come on, y'all. You gotta learn how to take them corners better, baby. See if I can catch him. Can I catch him? Can I catch him? Damn, I almost caught him. <laughs> he is what it is. That wasn't bad. <laughs> I still got a clean race bonus. <laughs> nah, I don't believe that. <laughs> Let's 
But yeah, that was the BMW E36 on the Iger Nordwan. I love the color of the car. It's very nice. I feel like more cars should come in those light colors, the pastel colors. Give me a periwinkle car, man. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> That's it, man. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. That was the new, old, new, returning. M397 BMW added in the latest update and that's the end of this video man I appreciate y'all rocking with me I appreciate y'all riding with me if you like the video hit the like button and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel turn on the notifications so you're notified every time I pop up my name is Kip signing off catch y'all in the next one peace